Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. It's a beautiful sunny day and I'm standing on a rooftop. It's about a story up and there's some solar panels being installed. And here's Andy, it's his roof. Andy. And where we are at this stage is we've got the metal um, legs, brackets in to hold the rails, which will ultimately hold the solar panels. And this video will be about how you fit these under the clay tiles. And on this roof, it's been really, really easy. Um, so far, and so we're a third of the way, we're going to put four panels in the centre, two over there, and then two, or one where I'm standing and one beneath. So what I had to do first, or what we both did first, was figure out where we're going to put the brackets. If I go down here to the edge of the roof, where it's the best place to stand, and look back up, because of the arrangement, uh, we're going to need two tracks per panel, and so we'll need two brackets per track, just because and it's overkill in this case but you have to have that many feet on it in the center one here we're just putting two brackets for each two panels because that's the way it is if we had if we were able to get the tracks the whole way across in theory we could use less brackets but the reality is it's very easy to take off the tiles and uh, i'll show you how to do that now so i'm on the other side of the roof now and up at the top in this case there was a lead flashing and you just get it with your hand and you just pull it up and push it back it's um pretty rudimentary really and the tiles on top were cut a little bit shorter and they were screwed in with just posi drive three inch screws so that was quite easy get them out and then we're gonna have to take out this tile here and this tile here to get a bracket in and then we're also gonna have to take out all of the tiles down as far as here and here and there's another mark that you can't see down below so the simplest thing we found is just to take all the tiles out in a run and I'll see if I can show you how to do a few and then the logic is that you just keep going. The top ones don't have hooks on them, that'll become apparent in a second, so these should just slide down. This is when gloves come in handy. If I could hold this one up. Pull that out. It's, it's remarkable. It's remarkable really how little holds a roof on in an area that's not exposed to great wind. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the truth of it. Then the rest, once you've got the first one out, the rest of them just keep hooking out. These ones here won't slide straight down, so you want to lift them up and then kind of wiggle them out. But there's an element of... Yeah, that one's cracked. It's been cracked a while, I'd say. Well, we've got spare. Yeah. Um, you can we can reuse it or or not depending we have we have some spares so we have some spares so that's not an issue then this one here i'm going to have to lift up this one to get it up over the ridge in fact i can just do it by hand there now, we're working alongside the velux here so you call them velux and i call them velux cheers so they've, they've chosen to screw some of them on but it looks things all through the center section there, none of them, none of the tiles in the center were screwed or nailed on, which makes life really easy. But in this case, it should just be a matter of wiggling it up. It really is this easy to get them off. So I'll continue that down to the bottom and then I'll start marking out to cut to fit a bracket on the bottom. So this tile here, I'll show you how to get this one out because it's a bit trickier when it's not beside a Velux. So, Get this one up. This is how I've been doing it. I rotate that out. Hold up that corner and wiggle it out, and that's it out. And this is, I'll keep it here actually, because this is the one we need to mark out next. So if you throw us a bracket. So it turns out because of the constraints of the roofing joists that are beneath, and you just feel them with your hand through the felt, uh, we have to have this one not where I wanted it, but over here. And then we'll have to have the other one on the opposite side. Um, here instead of here so I'll have to move more tiles and that's just the way it is but marking them out is what I wanted to talk about so take the tile that you're going to cut slide it back down to roughly where it'll be in the greater scheme of things and just mark out where you're cutting and I've got a feel for the Are you right under the flight path yes <laughs> I see no, but you just get used to it. It's just a thing. If you if you if you if you're intent on fighting it, you lose. So yeah. Um. So we've done this a few times already on the central bit. So I've got a feel for it, but we need to take it back about an inch, roughly, probably less. But you want to give yourself a bit of wiggle room. So um, 
I'll make a video from up here of Andy grinding it, I guess, because that suits me to be far away from the noise of the grinder. <laughs> So then that's it screwed in. There's not much to it. I drilled some pilot holes. I uh, got three screws in this case. It would be ideal if the joist was here, but they're designed, the brackets, to give you this leeway. So that's cool too. You kind of have to work with what you've got when you climb up on the roof, really. You don't know what you're getting into until, until you take some tiles off, as we just discovered. So then I took this tile off here to get the screws in. I'll put that tile back on and then I'll put this tile back on and I'll, I'll show you if it fits or not. So that's the cutout. The other thing that you have to do is cut off the ridges. There's these ridges on the back, so you just have to make a flat place, otherwise it might not fit. Oopsie. Just clunking away here. It's just a matter of wiggling it in, really. It's easier with two hands, of course, but uh, that's it. And then slide it down. And then over on this side, I have to do that maneuver where I lift up this tile so I'll do that off camera so in this case I guess it's a combination of me fitting the screws to it but it's worth taking another quarter inch off the side of this tile I think so that uh, you know if this moves around in the heat or when we're tightening it all up it could just pop the side off this tile so by just taking a lick off it with the grinder now we'll uh, we'll avoid any issues later on so I'll lift it out again It's just a quarter inch off, off that side there. That's it. Go. Yeah. That's how it goes back together. So I've come down now and Andy's up, but you can see we've got, what would that be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 24 of those little studs in now, or brackets in. And then it's a matter of arranging the aluminium tracks and basically that comes down to whatever system you bought should have a manual it kind of it kind of goes quite smoothly once you've done the first five or six you kind of know with how to how to manipulate the tiles to get them off so the four tracks are on in the center so let's have a look at this here so we've got oh what have we got a little bit a little j nut that is in that clips way. in Thank. and slides over bring it in get a little hole couple of washers and a little stainless steel screw. I can bring it to the top. So the alignment's just to the top of this, but the reality is that there's serrations, serrations on the back of the thing. You can see them there and you can adjust it down a bit if you want. So we get four more tracks on there and there'll be two panels, four panels and two panels. And that's, uh, it's coming together quite quickly now. We're lifting up with the slates and angle grinding is really the most horrible job because it's just bloody noisy. If you're thinking about doing a job like this, there's a book called Wind and Solar by a guy called Andy Reynolds. What, solar? Wind and Solar. Oh, Wind and Solar. I'll put a link to it below, and it's an Amazon link, so if you want to buy it, I'll get a few quid, but Andy will yeah, get yeah. a few quid. And Andy's done a few of these things, including the installation on his barn, and it's included in the book, or described in the book, and it's very similar to this, different kind of tiles. I think his tiles are a bit older than these concrete ones, but... Uh, Sometimes it's handy to have a read about something as well. Watching videos is fine, but books, some people like books too. So here's the progress shot at four o'clock. We were working since nine in the morning and we got two panels on, but we got the lion's share of the work done, being that fitting those tracks took most of the day. I'd give it a go if I were you. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.